Dan untuk membahas lebih jauh terkait dengan potensi dan peluang bisnis industri elektronik di tanah air seiring dengan tumbuhnya ekonomi domestik, saya sudah bersama dengan Utku Baris Pazar, Chief Strategy and Digital Officer Archelic. Hello, how are you doing? I'm doing fine. Thank you for inviting. Thank you for your time. To begin with, uh, I would like ask about about the Bakos innovation and also progress. After built a strong reputation in Europe, what has driven Archelic and also Baco to continue expand its businesses in Southeast Asia, particularly in Indonesia? Sure. Uh, as you know, Beko has its roots in Europe, and we are one of the three uh, players, top three players in Europe. And we are on a path to claim the number one position, hopefully mm -hmm. soon. That's our goal and ambition. But having said that, when you look at the last decade for our global expansion, we've looked at uh, different geographies and tried to prioritize where we should concentrate our efforts. And Asia Pacific came as the number one priority, and since 2014, has been on the top of the agenda for Beko for its global growth journey. Uh, why ASEAN is important for Beko? Let me start by explaining that. Uh, basically, if you look at the growth of the economies in the ASEAN region, uh, the, the rise of the middle class means that basically more and more families are able to afford refrigerators, washing machines, dishwashers, air conditioners in the region. So we see a huge rise and potential in the market uh, in this part of the world. And when it comes to the Indonesia. Indonesia is the world's first, uh, fourth most populous nation oh. in the world. Uh, it's number 10 global economy in purchasing power adjusted, mm -hmm. and it's the largest economy in the ASEAN region. Therefore, it provides the biggest opportunity for growth for Beko. Also, we believe that our company strategy of sustainability and energy efficient appliances on a uh, best uh, possible price points matches the needs of the Indonesian consumers. Therefore, we think that Indonesia is a priority market for Beko. Okay, cool. So, uh, I might say that during the economic recovery, I might say that Indonesia has a huge potential, right, for uh, Archelic and also Beko's market. And what is your view on Indonesia's home appliances industry, including the opportunities, as well as the challenge that Beko's facing? As I mentioned, growing middle income means uh, more products are basically consumed by household appliances. So they basically most of the time start with TVs, and then after that they start buying refrigerators, then washing machines, air conditioners, and so on. And as the market matures, we see more and more premiumization of the products. Consumers become more educated about yeah. the products, and they start basically asking for more features, more functionalities bigger uh, appliances uh, and also at a better uh, price points as the basically the products start penetrating the market. And what we see in Indonesia as the, as the opportunity is the country has enjoyed enormous economic growth. Uh, mm -hmm. As mentioned earlier, uh, year on year economic growth 5% is, mm -hmm. is a very strong growth. Mm -hmm. That has a significant impact on the number of homes that can afford similar... Better than home Southeast Asia, right? Exactly, better than Southeast Asia. And historically looking at just during the, even the pandemic, 2.7% in 2021 is a stellar uh, performance. And overall looking at the economy in terms of the interest rate, in terms of the currency, mm -hmm. it's a very stable and vibrant economy. Okay. And we see uh, Indonesian consumers demanding more every day. Okay, so what are the challenges that make us facing? The, the biggest challenge for us Beko in the region is we are new here. Uh, okay. We have basically established our operations back in 2018. So the consumers do not necessarily really know what Beko stands for yet. Mm -hmm. But our mission is to basically really turn it to an advantage for us. We are new and we would like to basically explain Arch uh, Archilic and Beko, which is the, Archilic is the uh, parent company of Beko, in the best possible way with our sustainable products, with our services, quality service network to the consumers of Indonesian market so that we become uh, one of the prominent and formidable uh, industry players in the market. Okay, so um, amidst of those challenges, does Archilic as Beko's parent company apply any specific strategies in Southeast Asia's market, particularly in Indonesia? Sure. Uh, basically, we have uh, established our strategy in three pillars. Mm -hmm. the, the first phase is basically presence. The second phase was uh, product proliferation, 
proliferation. And the third one is basically penetration. Mm -hmm. What I mean by that is this uh, country is very unique. Uh, Indonesia is very large. Uh, the consumer needs and wants their cooking habits, their lifestyle habits are very different, unparalleled. So to be able to be a successful player in the market, we decided that we can no longer operate from distance. We have mm -hmm. to be present here. Okay. Therefore, in 2018, we have established our subsidiary. So we have local teams on the ground that are close to the consumers, that are close to the channels to establish our backup brand. And uh, with that knowledge comes the second phase, which is the product, uh, where initially when you come to a market, you do not necessarily have the products fully tailored for okay. the consumer. So you basically look at your portfolio and bring in the products that you, will, that you think are the best for the local market. But then as you are present here and talk with the consumers, do consumer research, work with the channel partners, you are able to basically tailor your products to the mm -hmm. needs of the consumers. And that's where we are at right now. We have more than 150 products in the market that okay. are being sold in 450 uh, locations in uh, 16 provinces. Mm -hmm. And to be able to support the after sales, we have established on more than 150 mm -hmm. local uh, service uh, network to serve the needs of the local customers. But going forward, what we'd like to do is expand this product portfolio. So we are now working on uh, expanding our presence in single door refrigeration mm -hmm. uh, products, which are really important for the markets. We are looking for coming up with innovative products for the local taste of the consumers, especially for coffee, for mm -hmm. example. So these type of products help us better engage with the consumers, okay. understand their needs and translate into uh, a product that is really unique for the market. So we are on the path for expanding our product, for, uh, which will hopefully prepare us yeah. to, for the third phase, which is penetration. Because naturally, when you come to Indonesia, such a large market, lots of islands, it's a, it's a difficult territory to basically come and be present in all of them at the uh, same time. Therefore, we started with large cities initially, but in the penetration phase with these new products, we would like to expand our presence to pretty much where mm -hmm. every household is. Therefore, we can better meet the needs of the local consumers. Okay, so one of the key strategies from Beko is presence, right? To exactly. grab the Indonesian's market. Very interesting dialogue, but we have to continue our dialogue after this commercial break. So stay with us. Dan pemirsa, jangan kemana-mana, karena dialog Manufacture Check akan kami lanjutkan usaha jeda. Tetaplah bersama kami.